Uh uh, hello, yes, it is time for the trip to the train. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Want a video camera? Yep. Have a video camera. It's Brian I'm going to switch over to my polarized sunglasses quickly before we begin today's event. Of which it's a little bit of an interesting day because you're full class all day. Yep. And meanwhile, I have a half day and I'm going to come back and do all the work I've been putting off for the past, well, however long I've been putting off all this work. So that seems like a good idea, doesn't it? I think so. Yeah, windshield is getting fogged up already. Just just what I wanted to see to be the, the first thing that happens. Oh well, let's back up. Let's get out of here. Do you want to mention the other thing? What other thing? The thing that you told me. Remember? The Happy anniversary? Yeah. That's a weird way to mention that, but yes, today is our anniversary. <laughs> it's been an entire year. Uh, our entire way around the sun. And now we're here. Back in Philadelphia, doing train trips. That's the best way I can put it. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Anyway, uh, but yeah, today I have I have a half day actually because of all of the all of the things that are happening tomorrow. By which I mean the whole whole day of shooting at the Ambrav. Should be fun. Should be a really long day though. I have to literally leave the house at like somewhere between 5 and 5.30 in the morning though, to get there on time. Because that just has to happen. Oh well. Anyway. I think we're just going to get to the train station because I don't really have anything more at the moment and uh, it's early in the morning and I think everybody's exhausted. Whoa, what happened there? Oh, they're reconstructing that. Interesting. Haha, ha, you see those bad boys down there? You see them? Yeah. Those are serious, obviously. I'm gonna get driving. Uh, I know I'm locked to auto, but well, well, I gotta turn off the overhead and then turn these on and let's get going, shall we? Seems like a good idea to me. A um, bunch of stuff happened today. First off, in terms of vlogs, four vlogs which puts us almost back up to date. Of course, I won't be able to work on any tomorrow, but I'm off the rest of the week, so that'll be good there. Um, I actually got to play a little bit of Xbox with the guys today, but right after I got off, I was interrupted because all of a sudden, there was a really loud bang. And as of right now, I mean, I'm gonna look around because I'm still not actually sure what happened, what caused it, but all of a sudden, there was just a really loud bang. I don't see anybody who has no power. Every, all the stores seem like they have an power, at least the ones that would be open at this time. Um, yeah, everything seems normal. I'm just not sure what it... It sounded like a big explosion. And it wasn't just us, because a lot of my neighbors came out as well. They're, like, wondering what it was. And I thought it maybe was, like, a tree falling or something, even though I didn't think it was. Because a tree would not have made an explosion sound. But I was thinking maybe, like, with the power lines or something that caused it. Either way, I have no idea. But there was just a... A rather big boom. And, uh, yeah. I really don't know what caused it in the slightest. It just kind of happened, and I, I, I honestly don't even know what to say about it because I have no idea what happened. No, neither does anybody. It's not on the news anywhere, so I know nothing serious happened because of it, but, but still. Uh, apparently Welsh and Pete didn't hear it, and they don't live too far away, so I'm, I'm a, I have a feeling it was a very Andalusia thing, but I have no idea what caused it, to be to be honest. But it was literally like right after I got off of Skype, and I did run for the vlog camera, but you were out here, and I was like, well, no point now, because there's nothing happening, and I gotta go get Sarah in a little bit anyway, so I'm just gonna grab you then. One other piece of news today is that the other day I actually bought the cheapest Canon lens that they had on B&H Photo and Video, and it was a 50-1.8, uh, and so I have it now, and I've been playing around with it a little bit, and I think I'm going to show it off a little bit in an upcoming vlog, just because I think it's a little bit out of today's range, because it's night, even though it would be nice to test it in the dark, too, but I'll probably give it my usual test and just show it off a little bit, show you what it can do. I tend to like showing off lenses, but yeah, it's the cheapest lens they offer. It's a $50, 50 for, or it's a 50 for 50, essentially. 
dollar a millimeter. Oh well. I'm here at the train station. Did I do good? You did good. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, dear. You made me so happy, I'm almost crying. It's okay.